So this month pretty much started perfectly in my opinion. Motivated by the new year, even though continuing my resolutions for my 35th birthday. But you know, I'll take the energy from wherever I can get it. But I was focused, disciplined, driven, motivated, making sure I was telling myself no. I pretty much kept to everything I said I wanted to do. Which of course led to overconfidence and a little bit of arrogance and pride and opened the door to, you know, giving in a little bit, which of course led to giving in more and more until I started doing things way back in the day that pretty much made me want to change in the first place. So I can say pretty much that this, this month taught me that I have two clear choices. Follow the path that I believe God is leading me on or follow the path that just wants to live in the moment but never brings me fully into a feeling of joy and peace. So at the beginning of the year, I noticed that pretty much I was at the same place I was at the beginning of 2023. If you look at my body, this is pretty much the same weight, about 250-ish pounds that I worked hard to lose and then gained back over throughout the whole year. And this prompted me to be like, okay, this needs to change. So from there, pretty much worked on uh, not drinking through this app called Sunnyside App. I started uh, doing the driest January challenge and it was really awesome. And I was able to take back control and feel good about myself again. I was disciplined about the gym, about my diet, and just using my time wisely to live a full day in the moment and I was happy and joyful and even at that point I was like okay cool I'm strong let me go out to have Korean barbecue with a friend especially since he's leaving soon and just enjoy a drink and I was able to do that and pretty much it showed me that yeah I can actually control the day and moment then it starts snowing and pretty much was trapped inside one thing about me is I deeply hate snow. I can't go anywhere. I hate driving in it, especially. And for me, it's something that, though it looks beautiful for a moment, it causes more issues than there is good to it. So being trapped inside, I had this whole mindset of like, know what, let me just indulge a little bit more because I was able to handle myself a little bit earlier with the Korean barbecue and drinking. So let me just do it for one day. And I found that I kept doing it and kept doing it because the snow was still there and there was nothing else better to do instead of doing everything else that I should do that was productive and good and brought me joy. I pretty much backslid into just laying around watching my dramas, drinking a lot, watching porn and just going through dopamine abuse again. The good thing about that whole situation was by grace of God alone, he pretty much pulled me like pulled me out of myself in a way and made me realize like hey this is not what you want look at what you're doing look at the choices you're making what is it that you truly want and also I did feel a little bit guilty because he also just answered a prayer of me being able to have more time to get into a good healthy routine by moving me away from a work schedule that was very chaotic and did not allow for a consistent routine into a normal nine to five Monday through Friday job, which was something I really wanted because it allows me to build routine and that is extremely important to me. And from that, I started thinking, I was actually provided everything I needed to make my life go the way that I believe it was meant to go and to achieve the goals that I deeply desire wanting to achieve. God provided me good people in my life who are mentors friends who encourage me, who call me out. I was given a work schedule that allows me to have a consistent routine, especially when it comes to sleep. I have a good house. I have a good financial job. I have everything that I need, not everything I want, but everything I need to be able to make those changes in life, to reach the various goals and live fully. I just had to make the choice to go after those goals which would have to be requiring me to say no to various addictions and having to say no to the pleasure of the moment, being able to say yes to a fire, far greater purpose than what I was chasing in the moment. And truthfully, and just looking at those days that I pretty much 
just wrecked the progress that I made, I realized that I was like, I was just tired all the time. I didn't feel like I was living. It was just existing and being. And for me, I just had to call out and say, God, I can't do this myself. And he's, I feel like he replied to me like, I gave you myself and you have all your heavenly family and the saints and all the other friends that you have in your life. You're not doing this by yourself. So that definitely gave me a lot of encouragement to pretty much slowly start again and just know that it will be okay. Just kind of like any war, sometimes you're going to lose battles, but the war will be won eventually. Plus, you got to remember that blessings are always good. They just don't always feel good. So one thing I'm going to try to do is show you my fitness results over the month. So this is me on January 1st, and this is me on February 1st. And here are the pretty much stat reports from the new scale that I have that show uh, progress over time. As you can see, I pretty much could have made a lot more progress depending on the choices I made. So seeing real life consequences to following the path that you're supposed to follow or just indulging yourself for the moment. And even though things did not go completely as planned, I would have to say I'm not beating myself up. I'm not feeling guilty. And there's no point in just focusing on everything wrong of the past. I feel optimistic, hopeful, motivated still, because I know that the journey is not over. It was just a small hiccup that probably delayed time, but I also am someone who deeply believes in miracles that does believe in great victories and will be able to achieve goals. And who knows, maybe it's a quicker time and that I will be able to finally get my shit together and think of what I am doing a lot more and putting my trust in God rather than wanting to escape reality through just feeling whatever that escapism is for the moment. So thank you for watching. I hope that I can bring some encouragement or inspiring to your own journey and progress. I ask that if you do believe, please pray for me because I can't, definitely cannot do this by myself. And again, thank you. So until next time, be blessed.